I'm Matt Sermon from metsblog.com and SNY.TV. I'm here with Ryan Church, and I've been talking with some of the guys about sort of situational things, mechanically, that you do when you're in the middle of the game that I think maybe some fans take for granted that are just really easy to do. And uh, this camp, everybody's noticed Jerry Manuel's 80-pitch hitting drill, and it seems like the goal here is to make you guys go the other way. You know, how exactly do you do that? It's one thing here, but like during the game, you know, live action, how do you consciously make sure to go the other way like that? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, this the game situation. There's a lot, of, you know, a lot of things have to do with, uh, you know, who's on base, you know, what, you know, second base, third base, stuff like that, uh, who's pitching. Uh, but, you know, it's just it's just a reaction. One of, it's one of those things where, you know, your eyes are going to tell you what to do. And, you know, if you see the ball, um, you know, it might be an off-speed and throw a sinker away or something like that, and your eyes are telling you, hey, let it travel and just you know, go the other way. And I think that's the biggest thing is letting the ball get deep. But why in a certain situation would you want to do that versus, say, pull it or, you know, do something else? Like, why in that moment is it important, let's say? Well, um, I mean, a lot of it has to do with the count. I mean, if you're, uh, you know, you got two outs and there's two strikes on you, of course, I mean, you're going to basically, you know, they tell you, like, choke up and stuff like that. Right. I don't choke up, but it's basically cutting it down. Um, let's see. And I think and that's that's really when you just want to battle, you want to fight. And in order to do that, you have to really see the ball and let it travel and just fight it off. Um, and a lot of times it happens where it, it, you do end up going the other way. So do you do anything like, you know, if you're showing, like, do you do anything swing-wise that maybe you alter how you're... Like, I don't change anything where how I go about, you know, where my bat wants to come through the zone. Like I said earlier, like, it's, yeah. like, it's about... Because it, sometimes it looks like some of these guys, like, it almost seems like they're swinging a heavy bat. You know, is that just, no, just an eye-hand just, hand thing? Yeah, it's all it, it's all it is. It's just hand-eye. The biggest thing is letting the ball get deep. Cool. If you let it get deep, you're going to go the other way. There's right. no way you don't want to pull. So, um, but like, yeah. It's, so is this, uh, is this helping? It's big time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it does. It's the off-speed pitch. It doesn't matter. It's like 80 straight pitches, um, you know, and you can't take a pitch. Right. And they're not all the same. And it's just like real life, you know. That's it's, crazy. Everybody's got four or five different pitches. So right. it's kind of like, all right, you yeah, see it, you react. And but it seems like they're preaching discipline and focus a lot. Like even the camp in general, I notice feels a lot like um, like a youth kind of. Like there's a lot of energy and a lot of cheering each other on uh, compared to maybe last year. Is that something that's coming from Jerry and a lot of the coaches? They're trying to get you that's guys. What they're trying to get us, you know, instill that in us. Um, and I, you know, obviously it's working. Um, <laughs> and I think the biggest thing with his drill, it uh, it really gets you to feel like what it, when you're exhausted and tired mentally and physically right. what can you do when you're that you know you're that tired and uh, and I think that's the biggest thing is getting back to concentrating and you know we you get to the 60 70 pitch mark and you may roll over on the ball but you know you know you exact because you're, you're like yeah I'm tired and you're trying to force it a little bit and you just tell yourself hey relax let it get deep but when it happens, you go the other way. Razor's out there really pushing you guys. No, he's talking. He's awesome. All the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, mean, I appreciate it. Thank no you very problem. much. Yeah.